Hi, this is Annabelle from The Free Ends, and welcome to my podcast-style vlog that I'm going to be doing over the next week, uh, because I've just decided to do something new and stay out of the photo booth vlogging for about a week, and this is what you're going to get. So, as you can see on the thumbnail, on the Instagram, on the Facebook, I have an empty workout water bottle I decided to take that picture because I'm about to up my my exercise routine um, it's going to be ramped up the exertion levels and the duration to build up my stamina and to get my heart healthy but with that I need water I need to drink a hell of a lot of water to stay healthy whilst embarking on a new exercise routine because as you know the whole new direction for motherhood monday is getting fit before a pregnancy whether i'm sexually active or not whether i'm single whether i'm engaged whether i'm married this is what i want before a pregnancy to get my body to an appropriate fitness level and i realized that i haven't been drinking enough water they say eight glasses, but then you think to yourself, well, how many milliliters should that glass be? <laughs> Previously, I drank about 1.5 liters of water a day to keep myself well hydrated whilst that was before the, the, the global pandemic when gyms were open and it was a lot easier to get the exercise in. And obviously, I did see a lot of results in a time that was acceptable to me. And in 2020, I tried this whole 365 DD thing where I tried to do everything in moderation. And I don't think I'm ready to, to assess or address or whatever or review what I did there. I feel more comfortable over the next three months stepping up the exercise, eating healthily, and not depriving myself of water. So whether it's tap water or bottled water, I don't know. So that's why I've decided to take a picture of the empty water bottle. <laughs> Just to show you guys I've neglected my water intake. And I did budget for bottled water, but I kind of sacrificed that along the way. And I just went for tap water. Um, and at the time when I didn't neglect my water, I was in a completely different region in England and the tap water quality was a whole lot different, like you can see it in the glass. And obviously where I am now in this borough of London, the water tastes good, it doesn't look bad. So I decided that with the restrictions in place where I am, just good old tap water will do. But for my safety, I'm not sharing a a building with family or friends I am sharing with complete strangers and this may seem like a negative um, point to emphasize but I guess securing my water in bottles and storing it in a room where I'm responsible for the security is the best thing to do but I can't order groceries online for delivery so I've got to find a new delivery point to order enough water intake whilst ramping up, stepping up the exertion level and the duration of exercise that we're about to do over the next three months. And I'm completely excited for it. I just need to be prepared for it. I just don't want anything getting in the way of my routine. And my nine months in Ghana has helped me to think about how I can remove barriers and overcome challenges when it comes to having a goal within fitness and health and i guess you guys are just gonna have to wait and see in the end of by the end of august how well i've done with regards to receiving the goal <laughs> with regards to reaching the goal and maybe i might start a little blog up on my previous channel whilst I was in Ghana, well, previous uh, Facebook page whilst I was in Ghana, and sort of talking about the challenges and the obstacles and barriers and how I overcame that in London, England, and how I adopted what I learned in Accra, Ghana.
into this whole new lifestyle that I'm I'm just psyched up for. I'm I'm just happy for it. I'm just ready to get back in shape. I'm not focused on weight because I know with the exercise regime I'm about to embark on, it involves muscle. Get mass and muscle mass is heavier than fat, so so this is what I'm about to do. So guys, um it's a really quick one. Um I'm sorry if you're missing the whole uh, photo booth vlogging. I thoroughly enjoy photo booth, photo booth vlogging because it helps me to improve on how I present myself to you viewers. And it helps me to sort of look back and see how I can make my channel more enjoyable for potential subscribers, existing subscribers and myself. <laughs> so guys, I hope you have a fantastic rest of the week and you'll hear my voice again on Wednesday.